Wajid says, can we play video games? My brother plays videos, video games constantly and is losing his grades and does not pray on time. How to make him quit? Well, Wajid, this is not your job. It's your father's job. How to make him quit? Unplug his video <laughs> counsel and take it away. Video games can be halal, can be haram. Using this pen can be halal if I'm asked, uh, writing your questions and can be haram if I'm writing a love letter to someone who is an unmahram. So you can't brush it with, uh, uh, paint it with the same brush. You have to look into it. A video game that leads to haram is haram. This goes without saying. So if distracts you from praying on time, it is totally haram. If it, is, if it distracts you from doing what's mandatory upon you, such as studying and doing well at school, it becomes haram. If it becomes addictive and you can't live or breathe without it, it becomes haram. Let alone if it had women, if it had music, if it had haram scenes, if you are representing the U.S. Army killing Muslims, if there is excessive violence, if there is sorcery or bringing life to the dead, etc. This goes without saying it's haram. So what kind of video games can we play, Sheikh? You can play tennis. You can play uh, uh, go-karting and racing like uh, Mario and uh, the Nintendo stuff. Mario Luigi, Kart? I think is, is name. You, it's things that are halal. It's not haram to throw okay, Bowser but when it becomes shells at people, huh? And it makes you flunk your school and not miss your to salat. Throw bombs. This is totally prohibited. Your father simply unplugs the machine and throws, throws it in the dustbin or makes it an, as an incentive for your brother to pray on time and to do well in his homework and school. Then we will allow him an hour a week then this might be okay. There are women driving the cards, for God's sake. How can Mario Kart not be haram? They have their hair out. <laughs> 